What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to the road to WrestleMania for John Cena in... Welcome to Monday Night Raw, live from Roanoke. Last week, WWE Champion Randy Orton ran into a roadblock in the form of John Cena in MVP. Tonight, things aren't much better. That's right, Michael. He'll be taking on Triple H in our main event. As for our number one contender, John Cena, we're not sure what tonight holds for him. Cena seems to be on GM Stephanie McMahon's bad side, so anything could happen. SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 on the PS3. Anyway, I welcome you to a fine Tuesday here on the program. We have two arrows, or two uh, goals here, and I'm sure the story could go either way depending on which goal you pick, which is what happened yesterday. Also... The best in the world. Turn around and walk away what while he does. you still can. Jerky. Junior. And boy howdy. Are there some things to discuss today. In professional wrestling. A.K.A. sports entertainment. If you will. On the card we have Finlay versus Hart. MVP Ezekiel. Cena versus question marks. Kofi and Mickey versus Kane and Maurice. And a... Mixed tag team match. And Randy Orton fights Triple H. Okay. Hey, Edge. Hey, Edge. Hey, Ed. I, I think I know you. I think I... I think I know you. Oh, here we go again. With this... With this. No, Seamus. I'm not interested. If I wanted to date livestock, I would have become a farmer. Don't you want the notoriety that comes with being seen with a future legend like myself? Man, what is going on with this Seamus and Maurice situation? I think the lady made it clear that her type isn't the Loch Ness Monster, Seamus. Now, if you can't learn some manners, maybe I should step over there and teach you some. Challenge match, locker room brawl. You want some? Come get some. Recognize. Anyway. So, yes, we'll start off here, even before, like, there's stuff to get into before the talk about Raw last night. And top of the list is the SmackDown situation. The SmackDown going to Fox situation. The supposed five-year deal. Seamus, come on now. The supposed five-year deal for SmackDown that will net in about $1 billion for WWE. So that's kind of a huge thing. Now, this is all still, you know, sources say, right? So it's not confirmed. But it's apparently reliable sources are saying this is going to happen. So let us continue to talk about it as if it's going to happen. What they've said is that, I, I want a weapon! I want a weapon! That uh, SmackDown is going to move back to Friday nights. Right? German suplex! And SmackDown being back on Friday certainly begs a lot of questions. Number one, what do you do about it being live? Right? If the whole crux of this argument, if the whole crux of your thing here is that you want to have live programming, then you're not going to spend a billion dollars over five years for a Tuesday SmackDown pre-tape to air on Fridays. That would totally defeat... Why can't I get anything blocked here? That would totally defeat the purpose of it being a deal for live broadcast stuff, right? So we're going to assume it goes live. That being the case, it totally changes up the entire production schedule that they've had for a number of years. Like, they had that same thing where they ta they either taped on Tuesdays or th then it went live on Tuesdays, right? So, what do you do at that point? Do you just change up how you have your production guys to do their thing uh, entirely? I mean, sure, it's a billion dollars, so of course you do. Seamus! What does this mean for a show like 205 Live? Does that move to Fridays as well, or... Does that end up being something different entirely? Do they change the name? Like, how does that work? Right? Seamus! Chair! Two! Face! Busted! Wide! Open! Blood on the chair! Into the lockers! Get yourself a locker! Power bomb! Boom! And Cena wins. Take a hike, fella! <laughs> I just beat you up. Hey, Maurice, got anything to say? No? Nothing? Uh, just go away. I don't have time for you. Okay, sure, fine. 
Now, I'm assuming that locker room is either MVP or Randy Orton, but I know the other way is going to be Stephanie McMahon. So let's head that way. So, yes, with the news of the Raw deal being three times the value on USA, and the news of the SmackDown deal, stocks are way up, and the company is now worth, like, $4.4 billion, which is kind of nuts. Hey, Steph. I got this sneaking suspicion. Orton's been around to fill your head with fables and fairy tales. You two are making my job a lot more difficult, and I'm getting a little tired of this. And what's your plan to deal with this, might I ask? Business as usual. I have so much... <gasps> Look, I don't have time to talk. Just pick your opponent tonight from the list of superstars without scheduled matches. I'll look at the menu. Sure. Hello? Yes, I understand. Where's... Mm -hmm. what? Can yes. I leave? Is there a list to choose from? Okay, I mean, I have to go back to find a list somewhere to fight guys. Oh, wait! The other one... Oh, here it is. Big Show, Dolph Ziggler, The Miz. Let us reignite a rivalry here and fight The Miz. But also, the other exclamation point is still over in the locker room, so I get to do both this time. Anyway, yeah, so WWE is now worth what the price was when they sold UFC for $4 billion. So that's kind of insane considering when they sold UFC, like, not that long ago, WWE was only worth $1.36 billion. So they've certainly uh, got a gigantic bump in their market cap. You stay back, Cena. Take one more step toward me and I'll have you thrown in jail. So testy. Seems like all these schemes are wearing on your nerves, Randy. You want schemes? Ask MVP. That guy will stab you in the back in a heartbeat. Why is he such a friend all of a sudden? MVP doesn't have it in him to do that. Not anymore. Then there's The Miz. I hear he's been looking to jump you. See, what you're doing right now is deflecting. Besides, The Miz? I ain't worried about him. I've beaten him more times than I can count. If you say so, Cena. And we're having a match, so... It's a gravy. Oh, hey, somebody got a marker and filled it in. Cool. So all that being said, with this supposed huge deal for SmackDown, which you would imagine would go on Fox, like, broadcast TV, um, on Friday nights, supposedly, and with this huge deal for Raw, and all this stuff kind of coming to a head October of 2019, that with all this money they're going to be raking in for live content 52 weeks a year, you think they're going to care what the hardcore fan thinks. Either they're going to care what their audience thinks or wants or desires. What you're going to get is a lot more Roman Reigns. And it doesn't matter how much you boo it, because they're going to be making money hand over fist at this point. So get used to it, because we're in for a bit of a bumpy ride uh, in terms of that stuff. In terms of, hey, we don't need to build new stars. We're just making all this money. So who cares? As, as long as the ratings stay the same, they could care less. So... There is that, and speaking of that, uh, it seems like international um, affiliates have been informed that pay-per-views moving forward will be four hours, not including the big ones, which is, you know, Mania, Rumble, Star Series, SummerSlam type stuff. Now, I had heard that they wanted to make Money in the Bank another big one, and as evidence of that, we have a takeover happening before Money in the Bank. So there is that. But, honestly, it... Considering you got rid of the brand pay-per-views, and you're not having two a month now, you have guys that should be on a card that aren't on a card, right? So you've got things like Backlash not having either tag team title being defended, and that's kind of a waste. So I don't have a problem with four hours, because we're technically getting less pay-per-view per month now. So I'm fine with the one we are getting being longer. That's not a big deal to me. I mean, it's still like a slog of a watch. And it's funny looking at how Vince announced the XFL saying, yeah, football games are too long. And I'm like, sitting through three and a half hours is a slog. And I'm like, yeah, I know. We do it every Monday night, Vince. Relax. So th there is that. But in any event, uh, as I was saying, we're going to have more Roman. And they've confirmed as of Raw, we're going to get Roman Reigns and the modern day Maharaja at Money in the Bank. Now, what are the odds that match is the main event. Like, right right now, it's not for anything. What if it was for something? Like, I don't think you should have Roman 
over the actual Money in the Bank match. But if the company's worth $4.4 billion and Vince wants it to happen, it's gonna happen. So, get used to it. Like, here's your options. A, complain, and B, stop watching. So, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? They're the big game in town, the big dog on the big show. It is what it is, I guess. I don't know. It's annoying, and we'll see if anybody else happens to end up getting in that main event scene outside of Roman Reigns at this point. And hey, they can afford to keep paying Brock Lesnar a uh, half a million a match. So there is that bit of fee in this. Five, knuckle, shuffle. So speaking of money in the bank, Natalia has also qualified. And I want to say they have Naomi in a qualifier on SmackDown tonight. So that will be a thing thing that happens this evening. But let's get to the other thing here on Raw. The thing that I was hoping would turn out to be not terrible, which was going to be the Bobby Lashley and his sisters segment. And man, I don't even know why I try to give them the benefit of the doubt on this stuff. Because they had avenues they could have gone down, and they didn't. It was terrible. It was trash. Cena turned back the Miz, but this was no walk in the park. I mean, it kind of was. Number one contender. It kind of was. Up a good fight, but Cena prevailed in thrilling fashion. I'm sure Randy Orton was watching this match from the locker room. He'd better be focused on his own match tonight, Michael. However, it'll be Cena and Orton for the WWE Championship oh boy. in only six oh boy. days at the Royal Rumble. Like, not even smug and sarcastic Sami Zayn. Why am I not Wait, surprised what? to see you here? Whoa. Put the safety on, Loose Cannon. We're not here to fight. Yeah. Th there's no need to get violent. We're just here to let you know that there's been a change of plans. Not as far as I know. The plan is, was, and will be this. I plan on dumping Orton on his head and walking out the WWE champion. Well, that's going to be pretty hard when you hear the news, lunatic. Dean Ambrose? Maybe you better go speak to Stefan. After you calm down, madman. What? Lunatic fringe. Guys, guys, guys. It's the Royal Rumble. Are you not in the match? Where are you going? Where are you going, guys? It, the, the ring is that way. The Rumble sits tonight. Are you just going to walk out into the street in your underwear? Now you're going to get in a car? Like, okay. The Royal Rumble has finally arrived here in our nation's capital. Tonight, 30 men get a dream opportunity. Win the Royal Rumble match, and a title shot is yours at WrestleMania. In addition, Michael, we're finally going to see the long-awaited one-on-one showdown between John Cena and Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. These two have never gotten along. Nope. But I think their rivalry is worse now than mm -hmm. ever before. So yes, not even the smug and sarcastic and phenomenally heel Sami Zayn could save that terrible, terrible segment. Uh, it was... Like, the crowd didn't even care. Like, they weren't even doing the what chance. They just kind of did not care on that whole thing. And I kind of don't blame them. It was definitely a get-up-and-go-to-the-bathroom type situation. Because... <sighs> bad. Bad! And again, they, they, they could have done something. They could have done something. And they had a, a, a whole week to kind of figure it out, and they didn't get there, which is... Get out of here, jobber. You calling me a jobber? John Cena. Recognize. John Morrison. Recognize. And one final bit of news here, in that the CM Punk lawsuit, which was supposed to happen, like, yesterday, was supposed to start trial yesterday, ended up not happening. I guess they changed the judge, or they're changing the venue, and they're discussing a possible settlement. Keep walking, brother. Brother. So that thing is not happening before his UFC fight. So there's that. Get out of here, man. Nobody likes John Cena. He has no friends. Shelton versus Dreamer, Maurice versus Eve, Taker and Batista, Orton and Big Show, and the Royal Rumble. Where's my name? Where's my name? I guess go talk to Steph, but that'll be tomorrow. So let's hop into these last two locker rooms and see if there's anybody else to discuss things with and then wrap up for today. The game, uh, watching the TV, yeah, you're sitting pretty close there, game, like, you don't need to sit that close, it's a, that is a decent sized TV, Triple H, you don't need to sit that close, like, seriously, you don't need to sit that close to the TV, yeah, it's bad for your eyes, uh. at the end of the hallway here, we have Kozlov and Big Zeke, and Legacy said go talk to the boss, so those things will happen tomorrow, on this show. Thanks for watching. I'm a tax lug. More videos every day. I'll see you next time right here on this.
channel, and I'm out.